Nigerian workers in Kwara State under the ages of the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC today joined their counterparts across the country to mark the 2024 Workers' Day with a call on the state governor, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, who is also the chairman, Nigeria Governors Forum, NGF, to join hands with relevant stakeholders to fast-track the proposed national minimum wage with a view to reducing the economic hardship facing workers in Nigeria. The state chairman of the NLC, Monita Laolainka, and the TUC Ketika Committee chairman, Oluwa Femi Samson, who decried the skyrocketed prices of goods, especially the premium motor spirit, PMS, made a call at the Kwara State Stadium complex in Elon, in the state capital, with an appeal to the state governor to continue to make urgent interventions by providing palliatives to the citizens of the state. We want to use this forum to appeal once again to Your Excellency to set an example as a chairman of the Nigeria Governor Forum by implementing the federal government minimum wage when it is passed into law. The government should continue to make an intervention movement by providing palliative to all citizens of the state. The 25% and 35% announced by the federal government yesterday is total affront in the side of the workers. And it has been totally rejected by them because we believe this negates the tenant of tripartite agreement. Trade Union Congress for our state in line with the national quarters believe that the committees will look into economic policies and give Nigerian workers an enhanced minimum wage package as presented by Trade Union Congress of Nigeria. We will continue to receive our responses within current realities, including the implementation of another minimum wage as soon as all processes have been completed. The Renew Hope Agenda of President Mother Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, which we strongly support, embodies result oriented policies that will shape the future of the nation for better Nigeria. While the state government said it is in support of the recently announced federal government's proposed consequential adjustment, the labor movement in the state is objecting to the proposal.